Okay, so see this? People look at this and they say, oh my gosh, that is so intricate. How did you do that? I'm gonna show you how to do it. It is very, very simple. All right, you start off and just draw a square. You know, you can use a ruler if you want to, but it doesn't really matter. Because keep in mind that when your whole picture is done, even if there are, look, see, there are lines here that are squiggly, some that didn't have the same amount of ink on them. It doesn't matter. People won't notice because they're not going to be looking at individual lines. They're going to be looking at an overall picture. Okay, so look, I'm going to start here and make a slanted line there. We're gonna start right there. Now see it's squiggly, but it won't matter once the whole thing is done. Here, and go up to there. Here, and go up to there. So in a way, I'm making like little... Now I have to keep turning my book because believe it or not, I I don't know what you call it, <laughs> drawing dyslexia or what, but if I don't keep turning the book, I totally lose my place and I cannot figure out where I'm supposed to draw the next line from. I mean, I've tried. This is just, I don't know. It's a thing that I've got a learning disability or whatever, but... Okay, so see how I am just drawing straight lines, making a square over and over and over again. But because they're slanted, they're starting to give a little bit of an impression of a curve. Now see, I didn't do it right from the point there. I was a little off. That's not, oh, I did that again. It's not gonna matter though, because you're gonna look at the overall thing, as I said not at individual lines. And if you notice, I'm not making everyone exactly the same. I mean, I could try to be really careful and do that. And some people even do this sort of design with a ruler, but I don't know, I don't have the patience. Okay, I'm gonna try to not turn the book now. And then I usually fill in the last little thing. Okay, so it's already looking a little bit curvy, but watch what's going to happen now, all right? So I'm making another square. It's approximately the same size. It really doesn't matter, and it doesn't matter where you start. I'm just going to start like this because it's easier to, you know, it's just comfortable to hold it that way, and just watch what happens here. You're going to be amazed. I'm amazed. Every time I do this, I, I look at it and I say, how did that happen? How, how can this happen? Where are my original squares that I made? You're going to see why in just a second. Or maybe you're seeing it already. So by what's happening is, I can explain this, um, by drawing these slightly slanted lines each time, they're coming together at a point that is slightly removed and shifted over from the last point, from the last nearest point. So it ends up looking, you know, maybe I'm not explaining it. Anyway, you should, if you try this, you'll start to see as it's developing how you can end up with these sort of three-dimensional kind of things. Okay, bear with me, we're almost done. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it without turning it. There, there, there. See, I'm making it kind of big here, but it doesn't matter, it's okay. Look at that. Look at how this looks like a, like a twisted sort of a thing, right? But it's just two squares, okay? So, and then um, what I did on the one that I showed you in the beginning is then I did it with a triangle. 
okay? And I'll just do this triangle here so you can see real quick. And it doesn't even have to have straight sides. If it has curvy sides, you know, just follow the curve when you're drawing these things. Okay, almost done here. So see that, look at that. It looks like, you know, a sort of shell-shaped fan. So anyhow, it, you see, it's that simple.